All right, hello guys. Um, what I'm gonna do is a little something different for you guys today. Um, today's gonna kind of be um, for my figure friends, you guys that are painting figures and stuff. Um, I posted this up on the Styring Syndicate um, the other night, and people were asking um, for how to. Um, now you guys know I've been following Gilbert and he's been very um, informative on doing some different figures. Um, so as picking up the different figures, I start looking at other things I want to do with my gaming figures. Um, like I said, I don't play the game. I'm just painting and having fun. Uh, so what I did is you guys see me do the Nurgle display. And right now I'm working on a Pox Walkers display, um, but I, I don't have no ca <coughs> I don't have no empty cases on hand. Um, so what I done is I thought this next little set of figures is I would go and do um, I would go and do um, just little bases for them. And what I'm working on right now are. Um, Chaos Cultus, um, let me find the box real quick. Um, it's, um, it's these guys, the Chaos Cultus. Um, I'm not doing them in the blacks and stuff, um, since a lot of my stuff that I'm building, um, is Nurgle based. I really like, um, the Nurgle theme of the rotten and, um stuff like that um if you look at their bases they have here it's just um some of the citadel um gravel uh, just some of the citadel gravel stuff that they use um i'm not too much into playing the game and i don't like these bases that come on here um the bases that come on here guys are itty bitty and um, they had a slat right in the middle of them. And there was a piece of plastic that went between the feet of these guys. And um, went between the feet here to there. And then what I do is I cut them off. I put a straight pin in there. And then what I can do is I can just stick them anywhere I want to on the base. Um, that's how I've done. Um, that's how I've done my Nurgles. And my rock, uh, my pox walkers, just in case. Um, say I ever do want to sell them and move them on, um, a gamer can um, place them back on the table um, and do do something like that. Um, but I was asked by some of the guys over um, at the Styrie Syndicate if I can do a how-to on these. Um, the reason why I like um, to give a theme behind the base of the figures. Um, would be because if you guys follow um, Darren um, Bloomfield from um, um, Tokyo Model Detective, um, and then we also got Dread over from Solid Event Abuse UK, uh, a lot of their figures that they're doing um, have a lot of scenery um, built into um, the figure. Um, when Gilbert does a figure, Gilbert's work is outstanding so most of the time his work stands alone um, and if you put a scenery with it it takes it away um, some of these other guys they put so much into their scenery that you're looking at more than just the build um, say you know um, the last the, our banner picture right now for the Mr. Mini Dreams page on Facebook is actually of um, the Tokyo Model Detectives, um, mech looking like, uh, M-A-K, um, thing and a Jeep and it's a big scenery of the suit and everything and it looks really good. Um, one of my favorite builds from, um, Dread at the, uh, Solvent Abuse, um, is he has one of his suits on top of like or it has a building around it and there's snow and stuff and it just the scenery that they they put behind it um it looks great and now you have gamers out there um that are doing um displays with uh their figures you're gonna have 
Um, you'll have Spiky Bits, um, um, Rob Bear. Um, you have um, um, Aaron over at Aaron Painting, um, uh, Mother Nurgle, which is his wife. Um, now, they do a little bit of scenery um, with those. And so um, when I posted up on the Siren Syndicate, um, a lot of the guys over there um, really gave me some encouraging advice. Um, and then a few have asked me by PM and um, I think it was Josh and, and a few other guys asked on the page if I could do the how-to on I did this. Um, I looked around and like I said, these bases here are so little that once you put a figure on it, like if I didn't cut this bar off in between here, you put the figure on it, it didn't leave you very much of anything to work with. So I had the bigger, you know, you can see two different sizes there. I actually have um, three different sizes. I'm going to move this for a minute, guys. I got too much on my desk. Um, I get, I was talking to um, my customer about the Regal, um, and I told him it's hard for me to focus on one thing at a time but he understood and he told me um as long as i'm making progress he understands he'd rather have it right than rushed um these are paints i have laid out right now because i'm actually um, i've actually started painting um one of the guys where did he go right here i've actually started painting one of the guys and what i did now i did a bunch of base colors really quick and I put a serapin sepia wash over it. Um, and then I'll go back and do some metal work and do some highlights. And then I got to do um, no oil over the metal work. And then I'm going to do the final thing I'm going to do is the flesh. Um, that way I can get um, Racklin flesh shade on it. And this right here will be done. Um, but like I said, these will be on the stands. And so what I done, like I was telling um, Josh and a few of the other guys over there at the Styrene Syndicate. Um, if you guys ain't joined that yet, um, there's a place for all of us that build over there. Um, um, you got uh, um, the basement modeler. Um, you got um, Gilbert Red Dragon Model Works. Um, they pretty much got it opened up for everything from sci-fi to automotive, guys. Um, it's another great page um, for those those of you guys that are supporting the Mr. Mini Greens page on Facebook. Um, the Styre Syndicate is a is another great place to go. And like I said, um, with Darren, um, with the Tokyo Model Detectives last display, um, it really got me wanting to do some displays and. Um, um, Gilbert's already been some help. He's told me to, you know, I gave it a sepia wash. Um, so I gave it a sepia wash and, um, and inside the displays themselves, guys, it's all, it's cork. Um, I built a wall and this is the Nurgle theme. So I put a little Nurgle theme on it. I wanted to look like, um, with these guys being chaos guys, um, they're not, um, deformed. These are human based guys um, that are going against the Imperium and it's, you know, how the saying is, it's better to be um, on the side of the, the devil instead of in his path. So these right here are human based guys that are cultists and um, they chose to fight on the Nurgle side. These are chaos cultists. Um, I'm reading the Lords. I'm really not playing the, the game. Um, but I, I like to read, and I've been reading the stories of these guys. Um, you got other cultists. You'll have Space Marine cultists, and you know that will be um, other civilians that are that are working with the Imperium. Um, you know, and, and you know, however you want to play your game. But I chose to have these guys, kind of like they're still the bases would still be. Um, the bases will still look like they're going through um, civilization. Um, this realm that the cultists are in are preparing for um, Father Nurgle and all and all them to come over here and start spreading the decay. So they're in, you know, they're in civilian style. So they're going to be broken walls, gravel. Um, I put down some of the skulls um, from the Citadel skull set. Um, added down some. 
litter to make it look like rocks. Um, I couldn't find a rock that was um, a, a pretty, you know, like a, a scale um, and then a chain and stuff. And um, so some more, some less of the skulls, you know, um, just to give it a little bit of scenery. Um, so here's all I done. I didn't have no, I, I went too fast. I didn't think anybody would be interested. Yeah, all this is Vallejo paint, and I seal it just um, with a Krylon, with a Krylon mat. Um, what I do is you can go to Hobby Lobby, and they sell a four-pack of this square cork board. And then what I do is I just glue it to the base. Here's a big base. I got three big bases. And then I had... Um, I had four of the medium bases. Um, Gilbert and some of you other gamer guys, they all know um, the right size. I don't know. I know there's 25 mil, there's 10 mil crap, you know, I don't know. And then I had a bunch of these little ones. Um, <clears throat> what I done is I just glued the cork straight on it. Thanks, dog. Um, I glued the, the glue the cork straight on it and then I broke it off. I wanted the break up look. If you can see, um, I painted it, uh, I painted them with this camouflage, um, what color they call this? Sand, camouflage sand. And then I went back with a, with a different tan and painted the edge, you know, to make it look a little contrast. Um, I painted the inside gray on here. See if you guys can't see that. I painted the inside gray on there. And then I painted the walls um, kind of like a, a, a hall red, you know, just to make it look like a brick wall. Um, so what I done is I just break the cork off around the thing um that way you get a kind of like a 3d um here's one i was working on and i didn't care for it i actually sanded the cork all the way around and then i actually um cut um, i actually cut with the saw um like blocks in there and i kind of i kind of didn't look i kind of didn't like it um, it, it kind of abstracts some stuff. Well, here, here's what I'm saying. If I put my figure, I was thinking about this, like I would have two guys coming into town like this, you know, like a double base. But then I started looking at it. It hides too much. I went too tall and too wide on the walls. To me, it's hiding too much. So, um, so what I thought about doing is a smaller wall. I can get a little bit more detail in there, and you can see see how with the smaller wa wall, you know, um, right here. So, but basically, all I did is glue. Um, I put pins in here. I don't know if you guys can see the silver, but I put, oh, there it goes. I put straight pins in there. Um, I put straight pins in there to give me my shape and that way it wouldn't break. And then, you know, it's super glued to the bottom. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll base the whole thing where some of you guys, you know, would say prime it, but I base the whole thing in here. Um, once the walls together, and then literally i use if you see my bag of cork um which is good because you only pay a few bucks but once you break here's a piece i really wanted to save um i broke it off and then see how it goes straight up i was thinking you can put it like right there like straight up or you know you got even on the little base it looks really good on the little base you can have it you know Well, here, here's what I've decided to do. Um, Gilbert actually blessed me um, earlier in the year with these um, minis here from um, 
um, Savage Forged Minis. And what I thought about doing is I got this awesome dog. That dog looks so cool. And then, you know, I got my heads and my bodies and stuff. But I was thinking of using the bigger bases. Because see how much bigger the uh, the Savage World is over the... Over the... Um, the cultist the games workshop things so i was gonna i hadn't done this yet gilbert i was gonna do this um see if i cut him off the base real quick with these being bigger i can cut these off the base i'm gonna sand this down and i told gilbert i wasn't gonna do um these savaged forged minis um just because of the the gift and the detail that was in them I wouldn't had um I didn't have I didn't want to do anything with them without having um the skills and stuff and um, to get it done and so what I was thinking is now I think that works Gilbert um I think it's a perfect size for and um like I was thinking even if I went on a single base and just had one of them by themselves, this wall piece right here, you know, would give me, let's see, let me, I'll put it up here. I was thinking if I had this little wall piece right there and then had her standing right there like that, you know. So it, it can come into play and you don't have to throw none of this away. Any little bitty pieces. Yeah. But if I do her by herself, I was thinking, you know. But then again, we can I can put them here on here. I'm going to cut this dog off too. Guys, you, you should see the dog. The dog is loaded with details. Um, Then you just paint it your desired color. Um, Elmer's glue works. You know, you can have something like that. And what is cool is you don't have to throw the cork away. Um, you can add it wherever to be, you know, debris. Um, in my other in my other display, um, I've laid it down to do layers. You know, that way you can have. That way everything ain't on the same layer. You can, you know, lay it flat and build it up. You know. He's got this guy here. Um, actually has his foot on a stone. He's a little bit different. I'm gonna, I meant to take these off the base a long time ago, Gilbert, and I never did. Let me sand this down. And this is all cheap too. Most of uh, most of you figure builders um, are already know different kits come with different things in them, so you can you can always have some different bases. But it just gives you a little bit more detail to work with, you know. Yeah, they're they're really detailed, and I kind of wanted to get my my hands wet. Um, when Gilbert sent me um, these these uh, Savage Forged minis things, um, I had only done one or two Reapers, and he was. I told him I didn't know if it was for me. Um, I kind of enjoyed it, and um, the way Gilbert was push he's not pushing me but i want to say the encouragement um and then i told him well you know i was get i was telling him my frustrations i hadn't ever bought um a games workshop piece yet um he was you know i was explaining my frustration with the reapers being um a little bit soft um i had to do a lot of cleanup to get um to get the the um paint to stick on that plastic 
And he said, I will send you... He sent me three things. One was a Reaper again, but it was a higher-end Reaper because um, I was buying the $4 things. He sent me a higher... Um, a higher end um, demon. Um, he sent me the bear, and he sent me these, and he sent me the bust of the alien um, because he w didn't want me to. Um, I shared some stuff with him um, for a project that he's working on, and he didn't want to see me go out there, um, purchase some items that I would not enjoy. And then I would, you know, I could have spent on something else. So Gilbert, um, he helped me do some, I've seen some orcs, um, dog. I like their vehicles and I like all the stuff that goes with them. For some reason, I haven't felt them themselves. Um, I'm more into the chaos and not to the destruction. Um, but many war zone um, P over there, he built a big old orc plane. Um, he built a great big old orc plane um, out of a Ravel bomber. And I'm not going to lie, guys. It looks righteous. It, it looks way cool. Um, I'm just into the dog. I'm into the Nurgle side of it and the chaos part. Um, maybe it's something that I've been holding back on the inside of me, but it... It's what grabs my attention the most, I guess, because if you guys, these figures from Games Workshop, it's not just a, a game. Um, it's a story. Um, it's a franchise. Um, they got things like what we would call a book or something like a research book um, for our automotives, for you automotive builders in here today. Um, they have books called um, Lores or... Um, codexes and what it does it basically tells you um the period of time these guys are going through um uh, a kind of a basis um what they're fighting for um um and and it changes like right now they're in the eighth edition so it it keeps changing so um say you pick these figures up um, when they first came out, these are about five or six years old. Um, I don't got nothing in them. Um, they um, come, as they go through the additions, th this guy here might have had a gun that wasn't very powerful. And when you go through the different um, the different additions and different lords that come out, um, it tells you how they've either strengthened or weakened. Um, it is said that in in the Nurgle side of um, this Nurgle uh, grandfather Nurgle being one of the one of the main lords um, for the end of the world, and you know you got Age of Sigmar, you got um, Warhammer, and then you got Warhammer Forty Thousand, um, and then they got other games like Necromanda. Um, uh, you just got all kinds of stuff. And, and the Nacromanda stuff, right now it's too expensive because it's being brand new and all. But you want to talk about some scenery, um, some very, very well detailed figures. Um, they have a girl group called the Escher House or the Escher Gang. And then you got a guy group. I can't even remember their names. Um, another set of guys I really like and that has a great uh, story behind them is um, corn and all the blood corns that go with him. Because um, there, some of the corn um, people are like devilish looking and some are mutated humans again. Um, a lot of them are branded, which is cool because their chest is ripped open um, with the blood god symbol in it. And, um, you know, it's just, it's really neat. Even if you don't play the game, guys, it's very interesting. Um, a lot of figures. Um, John Sharpie just finished a figure. Um, I think, Gilbert, was your dragon... I don't know if your dragon, Gilbert, just finished. I don't know if his dragon was part of Games Workshop figures. But, it, you know, it, it plays into the the god theme that, um, you know, that 40K and Age of Sigmar are. So, basically, that's all I did, guys. I just took cork, broke it up. Um, I 
I keep um, cat litter. This is um, yeah, it's a greater demon of yeah. Um, this is what this right here was um, was a Wiz Kids figures, and I was excited to pick these up. I built the I built the one little bitty demon, another little little two, and then here were some goblins I was working on, and as soon as I picked up my first um for as soon as i fir first picked up my games workshop stuff um the kits are like a thousand times different so i've been stuck on um i've been stuck on um the games workshop stuff but i'll get back to these um but all i do is i keep a little bit of uh now i'll have to repaint these but sometimes you guys can repaint them um Gilbert, is it okay if I link this video to um, the syndicate so um, the members over there that didn't watch it live can uh, view it if they don't view YouTube? Um, so basically, what I do here is it's really simple. Um, let me do this real quick. Where'd my super glue go? I'll take the super glue like this. Get me a base got me a base I'll take the super glue oops and I just super glue one side of it glue it down my end picture guys you can move it if you want to I, I use activator and the activator works for this. I do that. And then to give it some support. Then to give it some support. I do straight pin straight in there. And then just just by doing the little bit of a of straight pin thing, um, just kind of keeps it from um, detaching itself. Some of the some you know with moving and painting and stuff. Thanks, Gilbert. And so I do that, and then right there, and see now I can do whatever I want. I you know you can basically do whatever you want with it. Um, so I do that. Um, then the Citadel skull set. I lost my box. I don't know what I do with the box. The Citadel skull set. I, know, I have it somewhere. It's probably looking me right in the face too. Here, no. Got so much stuff out. Well, I did have it. what happens when your place is a mess guys you forget where you put stuff I promised it. I know I have it here. 
because I was just looking at it and I was talking to Richard over at the Nerd Life and I, I took out the skulls I wanted. I took out the skulls that I was going to keep. I was going to give the rest to him. I better look. I'm going to have to clean this room up and look for it. <clears throat> I'll find it though. I know it's it's right here somewhere. It's got to be right here somewhere. I hope it's right here somewhere. All right. Okay. Anyway, what I do is I take um, the cat litter and basically, where's my lid to my glue? Right here. And basically, what I do is I take some of my Elmer's glue. And that's all I use is straight Elmer's glue. And then you can make, because it dries clear, you can make your little bitty puddles or whatnot just like that. So if you guys can't get down there, get us more into there. And then I just take the cat litter. Um, where'd my paper go? I just take my cat litter, lop it on there, push it, you can push it down, and then to build up the pile, you just leave it like that, put a little more, but like I said, at this point, on these here, everything was already painted, um, and then I did it, and then just add more up there. That's why it's kind of a mess. That's why you want to um, get a towel underneath. Then once you do that, you knock it off. And then, you know, you get some of it. And then right here, you know, you can either, you know, leave that. You know, you can spread it around if you want. Um, because, you know, you're pushing it all up together, and you know, it's just a matter of adding um, detail. Let's go all the way up the side on this one, because I had a little bit of, you know, the glue wasn't all the way there, so let's... I know um, some of the guys, um, they like to use that PVV, the PV glue, or I don't know what it's called. Um, PVA glue. And you can move this and move it up um, then you just push it all up there and right there would be you know a neat little rock pile thing for your detail um, and then you grab your skulls right here will make the dog happy got some orc skulls dog let me see and then you just would like this right here his head's open or his mouth open, I should say. So you get that. And then usually what I do is you you place it in a spot, like we can place it here within the within the rocks or something. And then usually what I do is I have a mirror. Um, like this mirror here, and then I put just put me a little bit of super glue in a spot. Um, get my tweezer so my fingers are in the super glue. I just totally submerge, well, not totally submerge it, but I just the whole base, I put the whole bottom part of the skull into the super glue and then you kind of just push them down into place to make it look like the gravel is around him. And then you can, you know, add a few more skulls if you want. Um, you got to know which direction um, you're going to go with your figure. Um, so that way you know where it's about. And 
then you can have one say you want it to look like one is hanging what you do glue it to your cork board not to your finger David We'll get it right here in a minute, guys. If you guys know a lot of the chaos and a lot of the Nurgle stuff, they um, have skulls and stuff hanging everywhere. So you could do we could do a skull there like that. Let's get one of these skulls out. We got a Grok skull too. So then, I'm going to glue the grok on its side, maybe a little bit lower, like that. And then, I had a chain laying out here ready for the video, now I don't see it. Guess when you think you're ready. Find out you're not. Well, I will get up here. Where's my low rider stuff? All right. I always, I'm always looking for cheap, like cheap necklaces, at the at like the hobby store or say, um, at, um the you know dollar shops or whatnot so then what i do is i just cut me a link cut you a link get you a straight pin like this that pin might be too damn that pin's too thick Then I'm just going to stick it. Straight through there like that. And I'm going to clip both sides. Then what I'll do is move the chain around to where you want it, and then then you'll clip it off. It's better to have too much at first than not enough when it comes time for you know you to hang it up. Put a little bit of super glue on there. Yeah, I just seen um, young model masters comment. Um, James, this is just something else that I'm into and I wanted to share with um, some of the guys over from... Um, the styrene syndicate page so now I'm going to clip a few links off of this one and glue it to the one skull to make it look like they're setting their hanging and it is true just like the dog said and like Gilbert has said before once you guys get into trying new stuff you'll be you'll realize how much uh, fun you had um, no disrespect to you young model master but um, man I'd built cars for 30 some years before um, I tried this so everybody has their own their own knack 
you know, their own take on the hobby, where they want to go and how far they want to take it. I was just at the point um, where I, I was always looking at these military dioramas and stuff like that and then finding um, some of you other guys here on YouTube and throughout Facebook. My interest for um, the figures was just non-stop, so I, I had to give it a shot. I had to try it. And where I think I still fail, um, you guys have been encouraging enough to um, reflect and keep me um, keep me going. So I really appreciate that. Um, so right here, add a little bit of chain, like um, they're keeping. Let's see if you guys can't see that. Pull up. Yeah, like um, that was a souvenir. Then you could do, if you really want it to look real cool, you can grab you another piece. Like I said, you got to paint this. Usually on the ones I've done already, guys, I um, had everything painted and then started um, to add to it. Um, so, get my chain You guys know why super glue was invented and why it loves our skin so much. We'll call this one, you can call this one like cage circle or. want to get at the same area as these other ones are use a little bit of my instant set I would love it if games workshop would give us instead of just the skulls give us full bodies of skeletons that you know skeletal skeletal parts for different factors i think that i think that'd be the shit that way i can actually you can actually build like a whole dead orc somewhere because one one of the things i thought about doing is like having a battlefield um one of the best computer images um i can remember through um say movies um one of my favorite ones is the beginning of terminator um where they're walking and they're just stepping all over all the skeletal remains damn chain stuck to my tweezers Having a bit of an issue here, guys. There you go. And I, I do, I really do enjoy the conversion part of doing stuff like this, guys. Um, you know, my, you know me, I can't build box stock and automotive. So you wouldn't think anything would change <laughs> over here in the figure land. So right here we added another chain to give it a little bit more of a 3D. 
Make it look like, you know, he was chained into place and then died. Um, so, you know, just adding a little bit of detail, maybe pull that chain in front of the drop. <clears throat> but maybe, you know, just little stuff that you can add to it. Um, you can add sticks and whatnot. Um, I know with Darren's, um, with, with Darren's displays, um, he's been adding, um, other kits. And some of you guys don't have, um, the collection of parts that would fit, um, you know, 28 millimeter figures and, you know, stuff like that. Um, I think they scale out to like a, a 153rd scale or 158th scale or something like that. Which we got 172nd scale, we got 132nd, we got 135th, we got 148th. Um, we got 120th, um, 125th, 124th, um, one sixteenth, one eighteenth. We got 112th, you got 18th, you know. Um, you got all the different scales, but when it comes to figures, um, like a lot of the people are calling um, some of the games work. Let me see. Um, some of the games workshop stuff is one is 28 mil and then you have what's called um, 28 heroic um, Here is my Lord of Plague um, I've been working on and If you see him Right there now. He's a little bit. He's bigger Than these other guys if you guys notice, you know um, For whatever reason um, his stick is, I got a base for him that's, um, um, my, um, whatchamacallit, um, if you stand them toe to toe, um, see how much bigger, um, this guy is than him, um, so, it's like a, it's like a David and Goliath, see how he has the, the, the stone he's about to toss, and, um, but like now, if I was to keep this base here with the taller wall, you know how everything fits in. So, um, like Gilbert said a minute ago, he thought, um, the Savage Forge minis, um, were too big for the smaller bases. Um, but, you know, they have all different size mm -hmm. bases. Plus, you got, um, plus you can buy, um, different bases if you guys want to do different bases. Um, here's... This whole board here um, is cork. Oops. This whole thing right here is cork based. Um, this is my po my Pox Walkers um, display. Um, see how I doubled up that right there, and that's why his stick is longer. Um, and he'll be standing there like that. Um, he's called the Lord of Plague. Um, these are Pox Walkers. Um, this right here, um, I took a Nurgle head. I took um, I took a Nurgle head and I put him on top of a Stormcaster, but I made it look like the Stormcaster. Um, he got infected by Father Nurgle. Um, here's all the damage that he took. Um, and instead of dying, um, Nurgle um, gave him disease and decay, so he started to deform. Um, I was going through a lot. Um, actually, Young Model Master, they actually have, um, the Walking Dead game. There's Walking Dead figures, there's zombies, there's Carl, um, there's Shane. Um, there's Shane in three forms. There's Shane as a regular guy, um, there's Shane in a fighting position, and then there's even Shane after he became, um, a walker. Um, go to T-H-A... N E R D L I F E dot com, the nerd life. And um, the game and the figures are all right there. Um, Richard's out of Texas. Um, Richard is one of the guys that um, we gave a raffle to um, earlier this year. 
Um, we sent him $250. Um, I'll tell you what, guys. He took his family out and had a great dinner. And then he made it because he was stuck at home um, dealing with a disease that keeps him from working. Um, he started his own business, guys. Um, he took the money um, that we raised for him. And um, we took the money that we raised for him. He did a little bit for his wife and kids. And then he started... Um, doing the paperwork to start his own business so if that ain't paying it forward guys um it's great to say that um in a way um this channel scaledworld.net and your guys's participation um not only gave him a night out and night without worry but you know we might have changed his life if this business takes off for him um but but i'd been um talking back and forth with gilbert eh, what was it, Gilbert? Maybe a month. And um, I was trying different things on the bone. Um, here's one thing I was trying. Um, not happy with it. You know, I was doing... Here's another one that went a little dark. Um, and I just wasn't getting the look. I just wasn't really getting the bone look that I wanted. Um, so, got on the phone, talked to Gilbert for a little bit. And now, look, guys... Is that not a, such a better looking bone? Um, you know, I was flooding it with um, with the wash. Um, I didn't have it toned out right. So what we did is, we're talking with Gilbert, I took uh, two different shades of a brown, you know, and that way I gave it a base, um, gave it a little bit of, uh, a little bit of um, what, just some, really quick short thin lines um is what gilbert told me and then i washed it from um the bottom up on this one because i wanted the darker piece to be down here um it came to find out that i'm just putting the wash on it and just putting the wash on it and i wasn't giving it time to um really um shade i was making it cover so um man after that and that's what's great with um doing cross um, pages on Facebook, um, joining different pages, um, meeting different people. Um, I can ask questions, and I'm growing, guys. Um, I wanted this to be like a tapeworm. Um, what else is grosser than um, knowing a tapeworm is, is um, devouring the insides of your body? <laughs> And then see all the cracks I put in here, guys? Um, what I did is I took my etcher. Um, I took my etcher from Dremel, and here I'll show you guys the etcher. I took this etcher from Dremel, and um, I etched all the the cracks in there. And then when we did the um, the um, no oil wash over it, it stayed in there. And then um, another encouragement from Gilbert was we took some different browns and. Um, <laughs> um, we took some different browns and made some rust stuff. And guys, this is just, um, I, I'm able to, um, contact, um, Gilbert when, um, he's free. Um, and he's, he's very informative. He's been very, very helpful and very, um, um, I'm going to say he's been a great teacher for me. Um, I get ideas from a lot of different people. Um, but between Gilbert and... Um, Richard at the Nerd Life, um, I couldn't ask for two better teachers, um, and I really appreciate that, guys. And like I said, um, Young Model Master, if you really want to do some of the Walking Dead stuff, um, go check out Richard's page. Um, you know what? When we get done here, guys, um, I'll send, I'll send, um, um, I'll share some pictures over, um, from what Richard does, um. Hey, I'm trying. I'm trying. Um, I really can't wait to attack. Um, as soon as I get all these guys done, I can't wait to attack the Savage, um, the Savage Forge minis. Um, so in 2018, I plan on doing um, more. You know, just I'm um, going to be able to do more. Um, it's here. Let me write it down for you, Gilbert. 
all the times I have stuff and then I don't have stuff it is going to be So if you guys go there, he has um, a lot of The Walking Dead. He has a, a few other things. Um, but like I said, he um, he is just starting. Um, he is just within the last week or so um, started the web page. Um, there's a lot of room to grow. Um, there's some stuff that he can get that you might be able to get at your local store. Um, but then there's some other things you guys can't get. Um, he's in the process of custom making um, hats and t-shirts as well um, so it's like if um, if you're the Nurgle um, on the Nurgle stuff usually it's um, circles like this and then he has it usually has the arrows um, some of the chaos stuff is a circle um, and it's got like a star depending upon and it's hollow in the middle um, You know stuff like that and some of the space Marines are used um, So say if you wanted um, this looks like a bad game of Pictionary <laughs> um, um, You can um, what you what you call it um, he can make you a hat um, there's not a lot of um there's not a lot of really symbol gear out there from Games Workshops or from Forged World. Um, if you guys don't know, Forged World and Games Workshop are ba basically sister companies. Um, the Forged World um, offers... Um, um, Forged World offers a lot of resin um, add-ons, um, um, one-off pieces... Um, like they got um, the great unclean one. He's about a hundred and some dollars, man. But I really want him. He just, he's huge. Um, he'll probably fill up my turntable. Um, and next to the minis, the minis are going to be this tall, and he's going to be, you know, out of the screenshot. <laughs> and um, so, like I said, I still got to finish these guys up. Um, but I was getting a little bored. Um, <laughs> thanks dog <laughs> um i just haven't really i lost i i lost where i was going because i was so tinted on getting the bones right um and then i did this one just playing around um this guy by itself is 20 bucks um so i didn't want to tear him up um the pox walkers were 15 um eric you can go to games workshop dot com um they have a lot of easy build stuff um since i'm not a gamer i really don't care about um the value of the player um each, each faction each guy um brings in a certain um point on wounds and how he heals and stuff like that um the worst thing about games workshop is you're buying the player you're not buying the kit and so, like I said, I bought six pox walkers um, for fifteen dollars, um, and this one guy was twenty bucks. Um, yeah, Amazon Games Workshop um, mini miniature market. Just um, um, you can um, maybe search twenty eight millimeter. Um, if I had money, if I had money to spend. Um, These right here are pox walkers. Here, I can show you. They come in. It. These are the pox walkers. Then, the ones I'm building now, these guys here are chaos. And like I said, this is a $10 set. 
Um, there's all kinds of cheap ones. I'm just getting cheap ones um, to paint and have fun with um, because they have some. This set here is a gift I bought myself after one of the... Um, I sold some stuff and I got this this big set here. Now, now listen. This big set here sells at Games Workshop for... Um, $85. Um, it's pretty big. Alright. But the three plague groans that are in the back here. Um, I've customized all three of them to my liking. Um, I will share them with you guys at, an, at a later time. Let me move that light. Um, but if you look at it. Some of these starter collections. If you want to start collecting just to paint. And you know of a faction that um, you like. I picked... Um, the Nurglings because are the Nur demons of Nurgle, um, and it will say you know start collecting set. Um, it came with 17 figures, but it really comes with so much more, guys. Um, when you get in here, um, you get different options for the banner. Um, there's different arms. Um, you get a lot of extra bits. But if you add this up, this Herald by himself um, is 20 bucks. Um, the 10 pox walkers by themselves are 30 bucks. Um, the nurglings, these guys right here, um, they're 30 bucks. And then the plague drones that you see in the back, the flying plague drones, um, they're 60 bucks. So you got 20, you got 50, you got 80, you got $140 for $85. Um, because you're buying... You're buying what this guy is worth. Um, spreads decay. Takes like 17 hits to kill him. Um, he moves um, fast. Um, he can, for every one, for every 100, like if you're playing their game and you're in a real game, um, whenever you kill, whenever a Nurgle kills a beast. They get like 10 more Nurgles added. Um, whenever a Nurgle kills, say say they kill this Space Marine right here, um, he they get to add uh, another another guy to their fleet. So your game keeps growing with these guys. In the Lord, um, yeah, they're they're great kits. Like Gilbert just said, they're very detailed. Um, when in the Lord, um, if you read the story behind Father Nurgle and in this factor within the realm of Warhammer, um, for every 100 Nurgles that die, there's going to be a thousand more that replace them. Um, and these little goofy bastards here, um, they run amok. Um, while you're sitting here looking at these guys fighting, um, these little guys are sneaky. Um, they'll bite you like a mosquito, and before you know it, you're infected. You're full of pus and disease. Um, they're just... We, it, you read the story. Um, I bought a magazine. It's upstairs. I bought a magazine that tells maybe two or three pages of the different factions um this uh, the nurgles grabbed me because their resilience to death um they're goofy they're like class clowns something like i am i've always been a class clown always been funny um they don't know that they're spreading disease and actually decay and all that um they believe with with death brings new life um so they actually think they're giving us as a human race, um, they're giving us a gift of eternal life, even though we're going to have disease, decay, um, rotting, um, protrusions, um, skin falling off. Look at this guy's got a mouth in his belly. Um, the Herald has no guts left in him. They're all on the ground. Um, and these little guys here um he's puking one guy if you look at one of the nurgles he's eating the other nurgles tongue and they're just goofy look at this one here upside down showing his butt um so when you read the lord 
they come to town and you guys can't see them come into town um, you hear the flies they are surrounded by swarms of flies and um, you'll hear the fly buzz and then you'll smell them um, before they come um, there's a musician uh, a musician in here um, he's playing a flute kind of like the Pied Piper um, and they have bells and stuff like that so they're going to grab your attention because of the stench, um, the flies, um, the bell ringing. And you come out to see what the heck is going on and you're infected. Um, you've gotten the plague or pneumonia, um, yellow fever, the measles. They're full of, you guys can't see them because um, the artist who painted this didn't really do a whole lot. But, you know, you see um, the measles and great big old pus sores and stuff like that. Um, they're full of detail. You can just sit there for hours and paint. Um, the sad thing is, is I got so much wrapped up in Vallejo paint, like you can see, um, I know I'm preaching to the choir here because, um, Gilbert has many of paint collections from Minotaur, um, P3s, um, Vallejo, um, the Citadels, um, the Citadels offer some great colors, um, but I got so much wrapped up into my Vallejo, and I really enjoy using them in the color bases that I have. I'm kind of stuck, but one thing I have gotten and I would recommend is I've gotten the washes um, because they do change and tint things um, enormously. I got the non-oil um, Agsrath Earthshade. I got the Serapian Sepia. Um... I picked up blood, guys, this blood for the blood god is is awesome if you guys are going to do uh, figures because it actually stays um, wet like it's still bleeding. Um, look at look at the crown I put on this guy um, where that bone is protruding through his skin. Um, this guy here reminded me of Leatherface, mm -hmm. if you guys ever seen um, um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Remember Leatherface keeps digging at his head? Um, this gave me the idea to, um, make it look like, um, it won't heal because as the bone is growing, his skin is ripping and, um, see his claws? He's, he's, um, mutating. So his claws are ripping, um, yeah. Yeah, Gilbert, uh, Gilbert is really right, right there. There are so many things, um, that I'm learning mm -hmm. through my figure painting, um, that I'm doing through my figure painting, um, that is transferred over to the model car stuff, guys. Um, this right here, this lead belcher, guys, um, is great, um, for, um, the metal work on the swords and stuff and will work great for your, um, for your car, like alternators and stuff like that. Stuff that's got to have a, like a cast aluminum look to it. Um, what sucks though, is these don't fit in my, um, paint stand. So, um, I've asked my wife to order me some more, um, of these, um, eyedroppers. Um, because, um, I also picked up the Dedruki Violet. And, the uh, Racklin Flesh. Um, and I need to get them in the eyedropper so they'll fit in the stand. But but the washes come in a bigger thing um, because it's thinner and you'll use it more. Um, the Citadel paint um, thins really easy with just... I use distilled water, but I guess you guys could use some warm tap water. And um, I love to use it, Gilbert, because uh, it, hel it helps me on the bruising. Um, if you guys look, I don't know how well the light will, will show up, but if you look, it works super great on all the, the bruising, um, you know, with all the wounds and stuff that these pock walkers have, um, I really enjoy that. Um, here's a tentacle, I still gotta paint, um, some pink highlights, Gilbert, like you was telling me to do, um, but I kind of, I kind of, um, I just got burned out because of the bone. I was having so much problem with the bone, and I think it would deterred me that um, I went 
um, with my chaos. But this in here, I modified this one. Um, this arm here is supposed to be for Nurgle. And um, this right here was just going to have this tentacle. Um, but I added this arm in. And that's what I'm saying. You guys can still create these to make them your own. Um, I used, since I was busting up that storm cast, I took one of the hammers off the storm cast and make this guy have two hammers. Um, the, it was supposed to be like this. Um, I even took a croc and I put a croc head on there to make it, you know, um, you can just change them up. You can make them your own. Here's another one I'm working on that's going to be Nurgle-fied. And if you can see, I cut a hammer in half and slipped it upside down. Um, so that way it looks um, kind of different, has a different way of um, helmets. I wish my camera would do better, but look at the detail just in the Nurgle head. Um, and what have you. They're great fun, guys, even if you don't play the game. Um, here's a Space Marine that I built for... Um, my boy um and you can just see all the detail um i got um i got a full set of the um warhammer heroes coming um from japan um it's it's a japan exclusive box um i'll can't wait to do those i'm gonna do those with my son um it comes with 24 figures um 12 figures and then and then another set of 12 figures so what i was going to do is paint 12 of them up for him um all in the space marine blue and then on the other 12 for myself um i seen some different um marine factions that i like the colors of um and like i said at forged world um, there's a lot of different places that have modification parts um, for all this Warhammer stuff. Um, you, it's just a whole, it's a great another hobby. Uh, I know Young Model Master made the comment about where the cars are, but you know this this has truly helped me. Well, guys, I got a call. I'll talk to you guys later.